everyone. Thought it was about time we had a go at making this phone case I keep showing you. Um, sorry about the colour of my nails. I've been doing mixed media, so I can't get it off. But I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye. Right, so what do we need? Um, we're going to need some multi-surface sealer. I use the Deco Art one and the soft matte gel, which is Prima. A napkin, paintbrush, a soft sander, and of course your phone case, whatever size that may be. Mine is for an iPhone 10. Um, this isn't an iPhone case, but it does fit. Um, you'll see it's got two holes in it, um, but we're not going to use both of them. So we're going to first of all paint the whole of the case, that's not including the bit you're going to put your phone into, with this um, sealer. And that will protect the case, and you'll see why later on when I make a mistake and we have to move back a step. So uh, I'm just going to do that now. And um, don't put the sealer on your mat because it will go through it and it will stick to the table. Is it in fast speed? So let that dry thoroughly and then get your napkin. Mine's a three ply, so I'm going to take the top layer off. So I only want one layer, that's the one that's got the pattern on it. I'm going to pull that away from the rest of the napkin, like so. And the design on this one is actually in four quarters, I think, looking back on it. So it's actually like if you cut it into half, if you've got a bigger phone, that'll be fine. Um, but if you cut it into quarters, it will actually fit um, on my phone case, which is exactly what I want. So I've cut the square. I'm just going to check it again to make sure it still fits because that's happened before as well. Um, and now what I'm going to do, if I can unscrew the lid, is to cover the case with the soft matte gel, just the front and back, uh, front and top at the moment, and um, ready for us to put the napkin on. So I won't bore you with this, I will just allow you to watch it until we're there. I bet you wondered why I let you roll on for so long. But if you notice, when you put that poppy paper on, the blue from the case actually shows through the napkin. And I don't want that. I want the background to be white. So what I've done now is I add a little bit more matte gel onto the napkin that's there, which wet, wet, makes it wet again. And then use your finger just to pull off the excess. Now, because you've put the sealer on the case before you started, um, you can now use a baby wipe to remove any matte gel that's on the case and it will take you back to the sealer so you won't have to start from scratch but it just gives you a little bit of leeway so if you're doing this for the first time you know you can take the napkin off and actually start again so I thought I'd better leave this in just so that you can see don't make it nice and dry though before you start again because you're gonna to have to do the full process again now so you're gonna to have to get your soft matte gel um, again afterwards um, but before we do that obviously we need to change the background of the case which was the whole point so I'm using heavy gesso heavy white gesso you don't have to do that you can use white paint but the most important thing is that you mix whatever you use with the sealant 
So this is another layer, so we want to make sure that it's not going anywhere when we start using our phone case. So mix it, it's about a 50-50 mix, and you don't need a lot, um, but just to colour the front and back of the phone to make sure that the uh, napkin um, looks as it should do. Make sure you mix your paint thoroughly if you're using a heavy gesso because you don't want any lumps. But I'll um, not bore you with all of this. I'm just going to stick it on fast forward and let you watch what I do for a little while. So that's my cover, um, dry and nice and white now. So we're going to repeat the process and this time we're going to do it properly. <laughs> so get your paintbrush and with your soft matte gel, once again, we're going to go over the whole of the case, making sure in particular that you get all around the edges so that you can lay your napkin down and it's going to stick. So go all over the top, all around the sides, take your time, don't miss anything and then get your piece of napkin lay it flat first just drop it lay it flat and then gently with your fingers just push it into place making sure there's no bubbles or you know creases or anything like that so you're happy with it and then once you've got that down and you're happy get yourself your soft matte gel again now you're going to go over this and you're going to take your time to go over it and you're going to use quite a lot of soft matte gel um, because what we need to do is soak the napkin so that it attaches itself to the case because what we don't want is it coming off because it's going to get constant use so I've left this on normal play purely because I want you to see just how much gel I use um, and how thorough I am covering this case one of the most important things is to make sure that you put the gel right the way around the case. So you, you actually glue it right up to the edges and just perhaps going a little bit over. But I'll let you watch it just for a little while. You can see at this point I've put my paintbrush through the hole where my phone camera is going to go. Um, that's not a problem, you should need to do that because you need to know where it is and you need to make it easy to cut into. Um, so just make sure that you get that area quite wet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use <laughs> my fingers to pull the rest of the napkin off. But you need to make sure when you do this that the napkin is wet. So you can see that comes off quite nicely and that's not a problem. But then I turn it round <laughs> and try to be clever on a bit that's a bit drier. Um, and of course, if you pull a napkin off like that and it's not properly stuck down everywhere yet, it's not dry, you're going to have an accident. And you can see I get a little piece of white showing on my phone. And then I start to faff and I think, oh, this is a quick fix. I can do this. And I wouldn't normally do. But you can see, I thought I'd leave it in just so you can see the mess I get in. Um, it's not easy to mend a tiny little piece with a tiny little piece of napkin. And you need to think about that if you make a mistake or if you, you pull something off. If you damage the actual cover or the back cover in the middle and so it gets torn while you're using your paintbrush, the best thing to do is take it off and start again. But when it's round the edge, you've got a good chance of being able to repair it so it won't show. So after several attempts at faffing with a tiny little piece of napkin <laughs> and a brush, um, I decided that no, I'd just do my best and I'd come back to it later on because I got really frustrated with it. So um, I will repair that 
mark later on in this video. Uh, it'll just show you how easy it is using obviously a bigger piece of napkin, um, which just makes life a little bit easier. I'm now putting a little bit more gel around the hole where the camera is going to be just to make sure that's stuck and then going to give it a blast with the heat gun to dry it off and you can use the heat gun. So here I am and it's all dry and nice. I'm just cutting myself out a little bit which is going to go on the strap bit that wraps itself around the phone. Something to bear in mind, you've already got a layer of um, paint and a layer of napkin on the front of your iPhone or your phone case. If you if you wrap the napkin around this piece that you're, I'm doing now, there's a magnet in there. So the more layers you put between the magnet and its partner, the less chance you've got of it actually closing and staying closed when you use it. So I would just put the napkin on the top. Don't try and wrap it round to this little piece here. And just stick it on with the soft matte gel and then use the heat gun and blast it until it's um, really dry and you need to make sure this is all really dry ideally you should leave it a couple of hours but because i was filming i didn't um, not that it made that much difference you just have to be a bit more careful and now get your scissors and you can see i'm pulling off that bit i put on at the bottom because i'm fed up with it and um, just trim around all the edges um, quite not too close just so you've got a bit there and I'm just going to use the scissors now and I'm going to start trimming up the edges of um, the case. Um, this is my repair which I eventually got to. Um, soft matte gel and I'm going to find a piece that looks okay there. So not that bit, maybe that bit. Yep that's the one. So I'll stick that in place and then just cut a piece out so I've got a sort of a little piece just to, to play with, a lot bigger than the bit I was playing with before, I will say. Um, and then put it down onto the case and then use plenty of the soft matte gel to keep it in place because obviously it's a repair. So you want to make sure it doesn't come off. All right. So And then you need to dry that again to make sure that's all, all done. The sealer actually dries really really quickly and so does the soft matte gel so you've got a bit of time to to play if you want to so here's my scissors I'm going to tidy up a bit now these are just the bits that are hanging off they shouldn't be I haven't got a lot of overhang because luckily for me with this phone that that piece of napkin fits pretty well so I'm just taking off all the obvious bits the bits that are sort of hanging over and tidying up that little bit that we had earlier on. Um, and so I'm just using a pair of scissors. If you stuck it down properly and it's dry, you should only be able to cut the pieces that are hanging over the edge. The rest of it should be solid onto the phone. There you go. Right, so I've done all of that. I don't need the tissue paper anymore. Yay! Now I'm going to use, <laughs> tidy up the bit for my phone. So I just need to get ready, rid of any excess really. And again, if you've done this properly and you've stuck the gel all the way around and made it, the napkin completely wet, you should only be able to cut off, you shouldn't be able to rip it. You should just be able to cut off the bit that's overhanging. And we'll tidy that up in a minute. So there you go, just running my finger around to make sure. Here we go. So now I'm using a, um, a tool that was, I think it was basic grey way back in the day. Um, but you can use um, a metal um, nail file or maybe an emery board or something like that. I'm just smoothing out those corners, um, making it all nice and smooth. 
so it looks okay and a metal one actually is probably the best way to go but you might get away with an emery board I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on that to get rid of any excess bits of paper just take your time to make it look nice there you go that looks better bit of a perfectionist sorry <laughs> okay so now I've got to tidy up the rest of it and I'm using this soft sanding block you can buy these in packs of two or four or whatever you don't want anything too harsh you want something that's soft and you can see you can still see the blue on my phone and I'll sort that out in a minute but um, you're just going to go around and take off all the excess so you've got a nice smooth finish all of the way around and you can see I'm being pretty sort of hard with it I'm not sort of being gentle I'm literally giving it a good sand to make sure that I've got rid of all the excess bits and pieces so it doesn't look a mess when it's um, finally finished. So there you go. Don't be frightened of it. If you leave it to dry, you should be able to give it a good sand without any worries. So that's all done, it's all dry and it's all sanded. So now I'm going to get another brush and I'm using the sealer. You can see I'm pouring it straight onto the phone case. Now this is the final coat for this. So I'm going to make sure it's fully covered and I'm covering all of the edges. So right over the entire front and back cover. So that's finished, it's all dry, it's all nice and done. You have to do that bit first. If you've got to colour the inside of your phone case, because I want to, because I don't want it blue, then you're going to need to do the sealant on the front cover first. And then what I'm doing now is I'm using black gesso, you could use black paint, and again I'm mixing it 50-50 with the sealer. And I'm going to mix them together, and then I'm going to paint the entirety of the inside of the case. So I've speeded this up a little bit because obviously you don't want to watch me painting forever um, just so you can see what I do. Make sure you tidy up as you go along because you don't want any of the black to get on the front cover. So if you get marks and that, just make sure you stay away from them. I'm just touching this up now to make sure it's all done. So that's the inside bit done. Now you've got to do all the edges. I hear you gasp. So I'm just going to touch some bits up and here we go. I'm going to do the edges. Now because you've put sealant on the front of this, providing that it's still wet you can use a baby wipe so that if you get any of the black on the front cover you can use a baby wipe to wipe it off okay but the paint has to be wet because if you leave it and think oh I'll do it at the end don't forget the paint has also got the sealer in it <laughs> it won't come off so you'll see me as I'm going through this doing the edges and it does speed up later um, you'll see me use a baby wipe to wipe the front cover when I spill some on it.
So just finishing the edges off, just making sure it's all done. Just make sure it looks nice and drying it. If you're using gesso with the sealer, I don't know about other paint, but it really dries extremely quickly. You can see just from this bit here, I'm painting that and I'm drying it at the same time. It's really quick and it doesn't budge. As long as you put the sealer in, it doesn't budge. And there you go. just checking all the edges now and making sure it's all right and then as you should do at the end of each project tidy up get rid of all that paint and that's about it it's really easy it takes not long you can do several in one go if you don't like the black painting then buy black cases but I say they might be a little bit more expensive um, and it doesn't really matter what's on the front cover of these either these were a pound for these cases in one of the charity shops my friend gave me one um, but that's the front and back cover I'll put my phone in it just so that you can see there you go see it does fit and it looks lovely it really does look nice lovely case I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, you'll have a go don't forget to share your pictures thanks guys bye